Yeah, man. Yeah, walk off, off in glory, man. <laughs> Those numbers are crazy, tremendously right? impressive. What's it feel to, I guess, the most since 2010 for, for Titans in terms of tackles? How do you feel about, about, about your season? Oh, man. Obviously, like, um, really good individually. Obviously, not, I, the team wasn't where I wanted us to be, or I'm sure anybody expected or wanted us to be either. So uh, that was obviously tough. But, um, yeah, I mean, I... Uh, definitely, like, grateful. Like, first season I, I came here uh, with an opportunity trying to be the guy uh, and was finally given the platform to do so. And I feel like I just, you know, was kind of cracking the surface for, you know, what I what I can do. So, What's, uh, you know, with the numbers you put up this year, what does it say looking forward to next year? And I guess what would you like next year to be, to be here? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think... Just whenever you're learning a new scheme, uh, you do things a little different. It was different things that throughout the season um, took more time for me to just be comfortable doing consistently. And uh, just knowing like another year under my belt, um, being able to be in the same scheme, around the same group of guys, uh, and I, obviously I, I would expect the numbers to be a whole lot higher because I know I can make a, a lot more plays than what I did. You know, left left a lot of plays out there, uh, made a lot of plays, but I know I just know how good I can be. So uh, definitely, like, I, I would love to be back here. What's the toughest part about this season? Is these, I mean, you're coming here hoping to win. It was a whole fresh mentality or whatever, and then you guys end up how you end up. Uh, I mean, it's like kind of anything in life. Like, we all have our own things that we want to accomplish. Whatever it might have been, like, I mean, we've all experienced that, where you set a goal, say you want to do something, and then you come up short of that goal. Like it's just, you know it's, it sucks you know but you gotta always try to like find the, the gratitude in it you know there's a saying I'm Muslim so there's a saying in, in Islam where it's like if you're grateful for little things God will give you great things and if you're ungrateful for little things it'll also give you great things so you know, just always try to put things in perspective like it wasn't everything that we wanted but we still were able to do some some good things here um, and you know I think we just can build off of it. Into this offseason, you know, the games that we lost and the margin that we lost them by were so small. So easily this could be, you know, getting ready for a playoff game. Um, so just knowing that is just, you know, I think it's what gives everybody, like, the confidence and the hope and the faith to, like, come back harder and, and, and do it right next year. You talk about wanting to be back. Does, it, does the unknown ever get easier? I mean, I never know anything, you know. So in the day, I don't know what I'm going to do. I said this all year, and I said this really for most of my life, like, I have no clue what's going to happen five minutes from now, you know, let alone uh, five months from now. So uh, I, I honestly had no expectation to ever become a Tennessee Titan when I was going into free agency. Um, and I, I ended up coming here. You know, I would have never thought I was going to be here. So I'm definitely just like not even going to think that far ahead, I guess. When you see 150 tackles, it's a lot of contact in one year. Mm -hmm. Is that a number you ever thought you'd achieve? Um, well, I actually had that as my goal was 150 for the season, so I made 163. So, I mean, like I said, I'm just grateful because at the end of the day, I set goals for myself that, yeah, maybe it might seem out of reach, but, you know, I surpassed the goal I even set for myself. So uh, it's definitely something that I, I believed I could have did, and, you know, I could show you the notes. It was from as soon as I signed here, two days after is when I started writing down all my goals and stuff. So, I mean, I, I have the most confidence in myself, and, you know, I just, you know, I just believe that I can be as great as I want to be, and you know, my story is not written yet, so just got to keep playing it out. How, I guess, in your mind, will the rookie season go? You know, not how we wanted to. Obviously, with the with the record, and that's what you're going to look at. Uh, we needed to win more games to to do what we wanted to do, which is obviously going to be winning the championship for every year that you know I'm here and we're here. So, I think personally, did a lot of good things and developed uh, pretty well. I think. Um, I'm able to go into next year with confidence, knowing that I could do this, and uh, that you know, even with the shortcomings that I had here and there, uh, that uh, I showed some promise. I think so. How much it helped you to be able to sit back, maybe for the first six weeks, and you know, before you became the starter, did, did that help your growth? You think? I think so. I think so. I mean, um, would have been interesting to see how it would have gone if you know I started right away, but uh, I think just with how it went for me, uh, it was all meant to be. And kind of how it all worked out was pretty serendipitous. And um, in terms of when I was even healthy enough to start playing, and when Ryan got hurt, uh, 
that at that point I feel like I kind of took my preparation up to the next level and got myself ready and kind of had that approach even before I got the opportunity to, to get the job. So um, it, it helped a lot, you know, and Ryan and, and Malik and Cor Tim and Charles all did a great job, I think, of getting me ready for that moment. You How mentioned your confidence. Where would you say you took the biggest step forward in your play, your rookie year? Hmm. I'd say just my situational football. I think my ability to go in and um, execute and, you know, those situations that we talk about and, and harp on a lot in, in practice and in meetings and, honestly, on parts of the game that I really hadn't been able to really execute him in college. So the two minute stuff, the end of half and a game stuff, um, I think the growth that we showed, that we showed there and our ability to execute and play good ball in those situations uh, was cool. How long before the foot and the ankle get you to a place where you're back to like 100% yeah, like I'll, training? I'll got crystal ball, I don't know. Um, just hoping that soon, sooner rather than later, but I'd say not too long, a few weeks. Sprains? Yeah, yeah. You spent all last offseason, obviously getting ready for the draft, the combine. You know, how much different will it be this year where you can just focus on yourself and and this team? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm excited to first and foremost just decompress and allow myself to enjoy some of the other parts of my life um, before even you know touching a football. Probably not for a few weeks, so that's that's what's on my mind right now. But I think uh, I'm just ready to to attack. I think I'm. Uh, First and foremost, I need to get my body back, and I'm excited to be able to show these guys and get back in a physical condition that no one I feel has seen me yet. Did you have a chance to talk to Ryan yesterday after the game or in the last 24 hours? Yeah, not, not actually. I wanted to be able to take some time to find an appropriate time to, to talk to him. And it's just weird, you know, it's a weird situation to be in, and I'm just so happy for him. And to get that win yesterday uh, was, was awesome for our team. And um, just to send them home was, was pretty cool. Also, Derrick Henry's up? last potential last game yesterday. You got a chance to play with him for your rookie year. What was that kind of like reflecting back on being able to play with him? It's incredible. I mean, I, I have to remind myself I'm handing the ball off to a Hall of Famer. You know, sometimes it's pretty cool for uh, as a rookie to be, be slinging it around to a Hall of Famer and hand it off to a Hall of Famer. And um, he's, he's an excellent teammate. He's just a guy who instilled his trust in me from the second that I took the field. And... Um, I'm just blessed to be able to have him as a teammate and hopefully, uh, you know, stick around. Do you have the team during quarterback? How do you handle the offseason in, in, the, in the locker room and what your responsibility is there? Yeah, yeah, I think this will be uh, a huge offseason just because I think with my leadership role and kind of how I approached it, it was, it was tough, you know, with, with Ryan here and, and with not being the starter to start the year. Um, I feel like my leadership role developed a lot and transformed throughout the season and I think I need to figure out what that looks like for me this offseason and it includes obviously getting with the receivers getting with the skill guys um, whether bringing them to me or finding out wherever they're going to be at and, and meeting up with them and uh, talking to the coaches and developing a good plan just to make sure that we're in the best shape and, and as knowledgeable about what is going to be expected of us come OTAs. Well, do you have a personal expectation for those guys? Do they have to know what your expectation of them is to perform and to work? Yeah, I think all of them all of them know kind of the things that they're good at, the things they need to work on, the things that, you know, we need to do as an offense and what we're expecting out of them for us to win the games we want to win. So um, it'll be on me to also when I'm doing my self scouting for this year and, and not only look at myself but for the other guys to, if I do see something, to say something. And uh, that I'm sure that they'll ex respect that and understand that I'm just doing it because I want to make sure that we're putting ourselves in the best position to, to win. How much input do, how how do you hope to have – in terms of this team going forward as you communicate with the coaches and communicate with, you know, the roster and things like that in terms of I want, you know, I want this sort of input or I want to be the, as the, one of the leaders of this team. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not wanting to make any decisions. I'm not expecting to make any decisions. Uh, I just want to be in the loop, you know. I just want to, want to know what the thought process is. And if they, if they want my opinion, then I'm more than welcome to, to share it. But I'm not expecting to uh, make any draft picks or any free agency no. decisions. But uh, I'm excited to at least be in the loop on that and to, to see what we can do to get some guys in here to help us win. Well, I know you mentioned situational football. Anything else that Charles and Tim maybe helped you develop mechanically or anything else? I'll just say the different types of throws and starting going back all the way to rookie minicamp, um, working on the layered type throws and how obviously, you know, I can I can throw a good drive ball and I can, I can really, you know, stick it in there. But um, some of the intermediate type throws that, that, you know, require some of that pace. Um, 
I, I think I developed a lot in that, in that way and I need to get better too. I think just with some of my timing throws, especially throwing to my left, I feel like I'm um, closing myself off a lot and just trusting my, my placement and trusting my footwork. Um, some good things all across the board, but obviously a few that I need to work on too. One of the things Lee Hop said was... How much better this? Oh, I mean, shoot, we could, I mean, shoot for the stars, really. Like, we, we just need to, I feel like, be more consistent. I mean, we got a good taste, of, even just in this last game, of, of how we were able to move the line of scrimmage and, and get this run, get the run game going to open up everything else. So that was exciting to see that. Um, but, you know, I feel like we can be as good as, you know, we want to be, and which is... We'll see, but I'm excited. The other day, D Hop said you were one of the three most competitive quarterbacks he's ever played with. You mentioned him kind of being like a Hall of Famer caliber. What does it mean for a guy like that to speak so highly of you, particularly as a rookie? That's cool. I mean, because at the end of the day, regardless of how you play, um, that's a compliment that I'll take and that I take a lot of pride in just because it doesn't matter, you know, how skilled you are, how talented you know, your play on the field, but if you're able to compete and you bring that energy, uh, that's something that can help any team. So I'm glad that he sees me that way, and I'm looking forward to continuing to be that guy for, for these guys. This brand foundation kind of being laid, Will, how do you think you did that this year to kind of set you in motion for what's to come? Yeah, I mean, I think I, think I just at the very least showed that I can do it, which is – you know, my goal, I think, personally at the beginning of the year was to was to leave the building on this day uh, with you know our ownership and, and the coaches confident that I'm our guy. So, um, not that they've told me that in words, but I feel like I did a good job of of putting those thoughts in their heads, and I'm just looking to do whatever I can this off season to get a start on the right right foot next year. And, um, like I said, that should be the message going into this off season and uh, coming back ready for next season. We all have to do better and do our job better. Jeff, as a guy who's definitely going to be here next year, <coughs> this is a team that's lost 18 of 24 games. A lot of guys have already left. Some more will leave. How do you feel the culture is in this room and in this building right now? I can say that's the main focus is trying to rebuild that. You know, since I've been here, uh, what it just last year and this year, my first time not making the playoff, my first three years, I made the playoff. So we have a winning culture around here. We know how to win around here and it's just how can we get that back? Um, of course, you know, it's their job upstairs to do what they got to do to get the guys here that want to be here and that want to help us win. So, and it's my job as a leader, as a captain, to help try to, um, you know, give that message out and um, kind of like set that example. Um, because sometimes, you know, even when the time gets tough, you know, we need that guy in the locker room. We could keep the locker room together. And um, also by, you know, um, like I said, with my plan, you know, I just got to be more consistent with that. But at the end of the day, we need these guys who want to be out there and we need guys who want to win and can win, help us win games. In terms of your health, how close <clears> are you? Could you play in the Pro Bowl if you get the nod in a, in a couple weeks? And then what happens after that to attack the offseason? Well, yeah, I, I feel I feel great. Um, you know, I've been continuing uh, getting better. My knee feeling way better than it did, you know, a couple weeks ago. So, um, but at the end of the day, I'm not really thinking about the Pro Bowl. I'm thinking of more past that. I'm thinking about my offseason. Like I was just telling um, Kayla here, but um, like I said, I think this is going to be the most important offseason of my career. Uh, you know, I honestly feel like, like I said, I'm one of the best at my position, and I really feel like I have to establish that again. Um, I know I'm going on year six, which sounds crazy, but, you know, my, my mindset is, you know, reestablish yourself in this league because, I mean, five and a half sacks, um, whatever I had this year wasn't good enough. You know, I'm more like, you know, everybody is very hard on you. And I'm hard on myself. Um, you know, I don't think I had a season for sure I wanted to. Um, you know, I saw the being hurt. So, you know, I'm looking forward to this offseason. Here, I enjoy my time. And, you know, whatever happens in the future, I know that that's what God wanted for me. You still feel like I mean, the pieces, there, there are still big pieces in place for this to be a really good defense. Correct. I agree. I agree. Um, I mean, yeah, you got Harold, you got Arden, you got guys that are here long term, Jeff. Um, Monty, so, you know, you got a lot of talent still here. Um, and I would, like I said, I would love to be a part of that um, and a part of that, that, that growth um, and that future. So, What's it like, I mean, you've been through this before, dealing with uncertainty going right. into the offseason, kind of not knowing what the future holds? Um, honestly, for me, last year, uh, it was pretty tough. You know, I think it was more trying to control the, the uncontrollables. And I think for me now is really just understanding that, um, everything that happens happens for a reason, no matter if it's 
what you wanted or if it's completely different than what you wanted. So um, just understanding that and really just living and just being able to just be myself. So. I know it kind of goes without saying that this year wasn't what anyone wanted, finishing 6-11 and 11 and not getting to the playoffs, is it? Mm. But how would you categorize or characterize kind of how this season went for you guys? Uh, I think it, I think it. obviously we had our ups and downs, right? Um, games where we played really, really well and it showed, and then there was games where we didn't play as well and, and it showed. Um, but I would honestly just categorize it as just being resilient, man. I think all year guys were resilient, guys showed up to work. Uh, win, lose, or draw, they made it fun. And um, and that's just the coaches, that's the players, that's everybody in the building. Um, and that's really just a test to just how, you know, this program is. And I think, um, you know, when you're in an environment and you're not winning, it can be toxic, it can be uh, long days, frustrating days, frustrating hours of just constant losing. And um, I just didn't feel that here. You know, even when we were losing, I, I still felt like, Guys are locked in and guys have something to work for, and I still feel like that now. So. He taught me and everything that I learned from him, and uh, I hope he come back next year, and I, I appreciate him for everything that he, that he helped me with and that he did for me. What was the initial reaction like when when you guys met, and did you ever dream it would kind of turn out like it did? Nah, it, it was crazy because he's like, oh, what up, Tajay? Like, you know, like he, like he been knowing me. So um, I feel like we got a great relationship. Uh, he's a great guy, and uh, honestly, I really want him to come back, but, you know, that's on – and that's out of my power, and that's I can't, that's kind of like out of his too. Did it cross your mind yesterday that it could have been the last game that you're on the field with Derrick Henry? Um, yeah, I think I, I, it did, um, and it did. And like uh, after you know he was thanking the crowd and all that, I was like, dang, but you know everything, you know it's gonna play out how it's supposed to play out. For, as far as from a you know speed, a strength, a training standpoint, what what's this offseason look like? Um, compared to like last year and what what you try to do um it, it's, it's definitely gonna be a little different you know now i'm saying like that you got i run it man uh it's, it's definitely gonna be a little different now that you got i got a full season under my belt you know in the nfl so um who's to say like i don't know you know what i'm saying just you know taking one day at a time you go back to louisiana and train or what do you think you do yeah there? i'm gonna be in louisiana i'm yeah. gonna be here be in Miami. I'm gonna be like, I'll probably yeah. be like all over. So yeah, I'm gonna be okay. back in Louisiana. And last year, you kind of getting up for the draft. Yeah, it, it was different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause you didn't know what to expect. Right. Now that I got a year under my belt, I know what to expect. Now I know the areas that I feel short in this year, right. so I, I can attack it in the off season. What would you say is the biggest thing you've learned this your rookie year? Um, details matter. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody play off instinct now, but um. If you got that little small detail, you know what I'm saying, that, that can separate you from the guy that you're going against, the guy that's across from you. And what would you say is the biggest thing you learned from Derrick Henry? Um, the biggest thing I learned from him. Um, he's, he's very detail-oriented. Like, everything he do is, is just details. You know, every time we get back to the sideline, he grab the iPad. But, like, he's he a true brother, though. So, I, you know, um, he's a true brother. He, he taught me he, – he, he taught me – how to be, you know, the person I'm gonna be in a few years to a rookie that's coming in. So in a few years, a uh, few years uh, from now, when a rookie that come in, he taught me how to treat him. So I, I'm, I'm gonna treat him with like care, yeah, like he did for me. One of the things like you don't want to hit your 60 yard ball, but you really can't hit it to the 20. I feel like I really improved there this year. Um, you know, doing a little bit of the hook punt, playing a little bit more games with the returner. I feel like that's that just comes from maturing, you know, and playing a little bit more, getting a little bit more experience. Um, but yeah, like I'd love to improve that plus 50 area this year, and uh, that's probably what I'm maybe working on the most. No, no, no. I'm talking about like for the rehab, considering of like the rehabbing a kicking leg, right? You're you're snapping your leg a lot harder than you would like a plant leg. You're not really snapping that hard. So that's what I was talking about in reference to like the rehab of it. How how difficult or how long do you expect that process to be where you could get to a point where you could do that? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, obviously, is just planning. Like, that's that's where you got to get your confidence back is just being able to plant. But when, once that process is done, I mean, it's basically back to where I was, you know, and, that, and that's kind of where I'm going to work is uh, strength and, and getting back because that's really the most important thing. Yeah, I don't really have, like, a goal necessarily to, like, get back because really what I want to try to do is just get as strong as I can to where I was back. You know, I don't want to rush it to where you're not as strong and you're at risk of hurting yourself again. So I don't really have, like, a timeline of, like, oh, I want to try to get back. I just want to get as strong as I can before I start punting again. Was it just an ACL? I don't want to get into specifics of the injury. 
but. I mean, I, I love the way he calls plays and the way he teaches us his offense, so I love that. Uh, Will is an amazing quarterback. I think he's going to be one of the better quarterbacks in the league in the future to come, so I'm definitely excited to see how we grow. What did you see from Will in the last half of the season? Uh, you just see, a, I, I said some, so, to somebody earlier, he's a dog. Like The energy he brings out there on, on Sunday uh, gets everybody juiced. The way he's willing to sacrifice his body for this team to win is, is amazing and it's infectious for the whole team. And his just ability to sit in the pocket and throw the ball is is very at a high level, so um, I'm definitely excited to see how he develops and grows. You mentioned the disappointment of the season. There are very few teams that no one likes this day, but very few teams end it with a win. Does that make this day kind of, I don't know, bittersweet or just weird? <laughs> uh, I'll say it makes this day better, because if, if you lost this last game and then you had to come in here, it, it does, it, no matter what, winning makes the day better. So it would have been a lot worse if we didn't win yesterday and had to come in here and do this.